Hey, so Dev, I'm hearing rumors. Francis Ngannou, John Jones is a definite go for March 2023. That's what they saying. I ain't see that paperwork yet, but that's they saying. I mean, too many rumors don't happen in the UFC that don't be true. Like, you know what I mean? When they say they're going to get a deal done or that something's in place, it happens. It's not really like boxing. For the most part, yeah. One of the things, though, Dana will do is announce a fight on Twitter and it ain't even happened yet. Oh, to put they, pressure on the fighters? Put pressure on them. He will do it, but I don't think he'll do that with John and Francis. So, yeah, this fight will probably happen. Um, I'm going to be honest, and I, I'm sure this is going to be a hot take, which it shouldn't be. I think John makes Francis look stupid. Man. I think it's not close. It looks terrible. Here's the thing. With Francis and Ghana, and I'm not saying he don't have skills, but if even he wouldn't say he's as skilled as John, he wouldn't say that. And if we start doing a little bit of just looking at what's happened, you got Cyril Gunn, who is a athletic heavyweight, decent striker, but more than anything is a person that will just stay safe, stick to the jab, stick front kick. He's willing to score points and get out the way. He made Francis look like an amateur standing up. Then they're going to say, oh, it's because of Francis' knee. No, because Stipe did the same. We get confused because he caught Stipe the second time, which we heavyweights. You know, that's all it takes is one shot to get clicked with some shit. But from what we've seen, Cyril Gaon gave you issues to where you had to resort to wrestling. You told John Jones one of the safest fighters in history. He going to jab you, kick you, and clinch you. He's not sitting here trying to figure out if he can knock you out. He's not trying to figure out if he can do any of that. His thing is to win the fight. That's it. A guy who's tall, long, strong, extremely good wrestling pedigree in MMA. Great striker. John is easily a top five striker in MMA, period. But John went to kickboxing, he performed extremely well. Like, people underrate how good John is as a kickboxer. <coughs> um, can do it from both sides. And again, it was, it, it was, it's not going to sit there and play with you. The fight going to go, he going to move side to side. Francis is going to look to try to jab his way in or throw some goofy shit to get his way in. It's not going to work. He's going to eat a front kick to the stomach, and the second he throw anything, John's going to tuck his chin, raise his hands, get on the inside, and clinch him. Remember how um, Ward was doing Kovalev the first time after he got dropped? Yep. How we got nice and close mm -hmm. and real familiar? Mm -hmm. That's how the whole fight going to look. Just like that. Whole fight going to look just like that. It's going to be a lot of him in the clinch, being knee, him weighing on Francis' arms. And I know Francis is bigger. It's only interesting because we want to see if somebody can knock John Jones out. That's it. And we assume because that person is bigger. It's gonna be, but you, you're also slower and less skilled. We had faster, <coughs> more skilled guys with knockout power trying to knock John out. They couldn't touch him. You feel me? So even to the day, would you say that Francis Ngannou is as skilled as Rampage? No. See what happened to Rampage? But will you be as skilled as Rashad Evans? No. Fuck Rashad on, Evans man. had knockout power, right? Come on. Rashad Evans had knockout power, both hands, right? But people are looking at the size. We've never, we've the never. The size is a disadvantage when you can't get the shot. Man. You become a bigger target in a in a uh, a early warning system. That's it. That's it. You get a big guy. That's an early warning system. That's it. You get somebody that's bigger, slower. And his only thing is he hit hard against somebody that's a technician. You're going to be hitting air and shoulders all day. That's it. Easy fight, though. No, super easy fight. Come on.